All right, so we finally managed to uh, gain access to this game that's been getting a lot of hype recently called Grey Zone Warfare. Um, first impression so far, this game kind of runs like booty. Um, running on a 3070 right now, lowest settings, only getting 40 frames. However, when I ran on Epic and also medium settings, I seem to get similar frames regardless. So, so the optimization definitely needs work on this game. I know it just barely released, so I'm not going to be... You know too harsh on it but i know there was a lot of people that were actually excited to play this game on release and a lot of people are actually not able to even play it a lot of people are actually refunding right now on the discord because they're saying their game is completely unplayable even with better graphics cards than i have i'm not sure if that's just an issue with the uh, nvidia cards or what the issue is with that altogether but it's not completely unplayable i mean 40 frames obviously it's gonna feel you know pretty bad you guys can see, I'm not sure if you guys can see how choppy this looks when I'm going left to right, but yeah, it's, it's it's still playable. I mean, I personally wouldn't like to play on it like this. Okay, so the tasking system. So it seems to be able to get a task on this. You have to press tab and go ahead and head over to the vendor section here. We have three different vendors here. We have Gunny, Handshake, and Lab Rat. So I just accepted one from uh, Handshake right here. You go to tasks. So the first recon, so we have to check an area around the gas station, check the convenience store, and check the demolished building. So this is um, also the same thing you do with the gunny, so we're just going to go ahead and accept the task for all three of these vendors. He also gave us two items, I'm not sure what he gave us, we're going to check that. And if you guys want to actually play with the squad, one thing to know is you guys do have to choose the same faction. Apparently if you guys choose different factions, you guys are not able to play with your teammates here. But once you guys actually do load up, into the game together you guys could go ahead and just create a squatter here and just play together from there so we're gonna go ahead and just uh we're gonna just go ahead and head out into the actual town and see if we can complete any of these missions but holy moly these i think my game just completely crashed i don't know because everything's generating or what it is but i really just dropped like 30 frames and it was playing around like five frames it went back up though but i'm i lost 10 frames moving from that area to this area so i'm now at 30 frames in total i'm not even too entirely sure where i'm even going if i'm being completely honest um one of these just says all of these just say in a town town's warehouse town convenience store gas station demolished building so i'm not sure where this specific town actually is um we're in a town right now also, I'm not sure if it's just me or if this is a feature in the game, but it, like I keep pressing shift and it just keeps stopping the run for whatever reason. Like I'm holding shift right now and it stops and then it continues and then it stops and then it continues. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that way or what it is. Um, see, it's like right there. It's just it's letting go and starts walking again. I'm not sh I'm too sure why it's doing that. So we have quite a few shots in this town right now. A uh, majority of them are faction members, but I'm sure they're just probably fighting AI. It's like this guy died here. He has a he's an AK for us. Yo, man, are you able to hear me? Yo, your head is completely invisible for me. Uh, is the uh, how's your frame rate on the game? Like 40 FPS. 40? What, what, what kind of a uh, GPU do you run? Uh, yeah, I'm getting 30 with the 3070. 3028. Yeah, this is rough. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to probably gonna have to hold off on the game for a bit longer. Yeah. There's someone on the road right there. Wait, is that someone? Or is that just a fence? I think it looks like a player. No, yeah, it is a player. It's an enemy.
What? Why is he not dead? Hello? Oh. Okay. What the hell is going on here? Uh, so this is another bug in the game, I guess. It's uh, pretty weird. I was asking what task are you guys uh, working on? Uh, do you know where the locations are for it? By any chance? Okay. That's the abandoned. That's the demolished building or whatever. And then if you want to just jump run over there quick to back to us, we'll do them all together. Uh, I'll probably end up. Uh, I'll probably end up slowing you guys down honestly because I'm playing like on 25, 30 frames right now. Yeah. Alright, alright. Alright, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll uh You see that blue wall? Just go inside that blue wall area. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna head over here. This for the construction area. Hello? It seems like we got the construction area done. These guys are pretty nice. I think I'll stick with them for a bit, maybe complete one task. Um, I didn't actually bring extra ammunition though, so there's that. This uses what? 5.56? Five, five, yeah, so we're gonna have to get some uh, get some five five six soon. Jesus, man, what's going on over here? I do not see them. Okay, so I think the issue with the sprinting is whenever you press left or right key, your sprinting automatically cancels. So I'm not sure. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure why that's the case. So you're basically forced to move completely forward. I'm not trying to accidentally shoot this guy. Let me see if I can flank around for, to help these guys. I cannot see anything from the distance. See them. Right, that should be all of them, I think. Hopefully. I did not see a single one. I was trying to get a flank and just couldn't see them. I guess they were all just tucked in here. Is that task completed now? Oh uh, no, we're not at the right building, it's more to the west. Okay, so we managed to finish one task, so now we're heading over towards the convenience store. Okay, could you read the description? So we're heading over towards the convenience store. We're gonna see if we could uh, see if we could finish this other task, and then probably head towards Xville because right, be we're gonna end up needing we're gonna end up needing more ammo than we actually brought. Uh, I don't know. This doesn't look like a convenience store. It's pretty. It's pretty big. Oh, we just aggroed every. There's a lot of them in there. Time to go. Is that it in that there? Was, or no? That wasn't it. That's not the quest. Run! No. Careful, careful. Take cover. Take cover. Get into cover. Frame rate gets a little bit better in here. I'm getting around 40 frames here. Oh, 
He's shooting me through the wall. Okay, let's go ahead and I don't know what I need to do here. So we have a bleed for sure. We're getting pinched pretty hard here. I'm assuming we're gonna need a serve kit. I'm not sure miles away. I got him. Uh, nice. do, do you need mids? There's another one to the northeast, be careful. Okay. My guy's crying that he's hungry, now's not the time. <laughs> oh man, this surgery takes even longer than Tarkov surgery. I didn't fix anything. Well, what does this do? You want, these? want like the food wave? Yep, just drop them for you. I'm gonna go try to It's giving us blood. Oh! My god, where did he go? Got that guy. That was uh that was what completely bad for us. I'm over here. I'm over I'm over here. I'm over here. Yeah, we literally aggroed everything. God, bro, so we're, we were quartered. How'd you guys get into that lumber room door to do it? Just the game's already open. I just walked. No, oh, I did the plant the tracker on the weapon cache. I yeah, I didn't bring the tracker. I wasn't that small. Yeah, yeah you need a key. Tracker. I don't even know how to get it. No idea. Did we lose the other guy? Yeah. Oops. Uh, yeah, I think we did. We can get out now though, we can extra. Yeah, yeah, that's uh... I'll pick up. Should we should we go back for him or should we just go to Xville? Uh, yeah, we can just go Xville. Jesus, look at all these AI we killed here. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you might have died. Oh no, I was wondering where you went. Oh, we got the convenience store, it was uh... Did you get the convenience store? No. It's over here. If you... Yeah, it's over here. Cool. Let's, let's grab it and let's go, dude. I feel like we're all hungry and out of yeah. Jesus, there's more AI again. We got it already. Some other guy got a shotgun. Right, this is the convenience store. I need to eat food, I think. Just uh, eat this ration pack. Yeah, you already swapped over to the AK because you're out of ammo. Yeah. I have another AK if you need it. If you guys end up running out of ammo, I'll drop it for you guys. Right. I don't know. Do we call the chopper? Does it come on its own? Uh, that I don't know. Extremely loud audio. Yeah. Uh, mine didn't. Yeah, it's got like frogs and shit. Oh wait, well, yeah, yeah, I got, I got that. The drum. I guess we just have to wait. I'm gonna go sit in a bush and wait. Nice. Thanks, guys. Oh, 
it was pretty rough, not gonna lie. Definitely appreciate the help, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna be waiting for a patch before I play anymore because then uh not gonna be able to refund it, but yeah, I wish you guys the best man. Thanks for the yeah, thanks for the run. This game definitely is fun. You know, like I mentioned before, it's uh, the gameplay loop overall is pretty fun. Something new to the uh, extraction shooter genre. Um, it definitely has its FPS issues, like I said before. Um, for $35, I think this game's pretty worth it. You know, this game, uh, I'm not sure what, you know, type of supercomputers these streamers are playing on that they're getting, you know, super high frame rates and they're able to PVP and do everything perfectly fine. Um, I obviously don't have that type of computer. I have just a basic 3070 computer, uh, not that great CPU. I'm actually looking to upgrade fairly soon, but you know, tons of bugs. There's definitely tons of bugs. The uh, fight of the AI didn't feel a little bit too janky though. Uh, it looked like they went down pretty pretty e easily. I'm not sure if they changed that from the uh, the closed play test they did with the streamers, um, but it felt like they were actually going down a lot easier than what we saw back then. Um, I was tapping them in the head sometimes. Uh, our teammate definitely was taking down a lot of or majority of the actual AIs that we're running into. At the moment, I can't really recommend the game just because of the performance issue. That's mainly the, the whole drawback of this whole thing. The bugs and the other stuff within the game, you know, that's that could be fixed over time. This is early access. I know a lot of games like to use early access as an excuse, but this game, you know, they said, you know, before the game even launched that it was gonna have bugs. You know, they didn't expect it to be perfect. The bugs situation is not game breaking at the moment. At least I didn't run into any game breaking bugs. Um, you're able to quest and do everything perfectly fine. It doesn't really affect you. Um, the AI may just look a little bit wonky every now and then that you see on the floor. They're going to be clipped into the ground. But yeah, definitely try this game out. If you guys have a decent computer, if you guys think your uh, computer could actually handle it, 35 bucks. You guys have like an hour or two on Steam to try it out. Make sure you guys actually buy the standard edition and not the DLC that's actually there. Uh, the standard edition is going for $35 on Steam right now. You could go ahead and try it out and if you guys like the gameplay loop and you guys are able to run it you know go ahead and stay with it if not you guys have the hour or two from steam's uh refund policy and just go ahead and refund it after but anyways guys that's it for me thank you guys for watching catch you guys in the next one peace